A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said to them, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The Word of the Lord. Jesus is at this point um, that we've been hearing all these past few uh, sermon videos. Uh, as he is rounding out the lessons he has had for his disciples. Um, we've seen as he, in the Gospel of John, takes the bread and breaks it, shares it with his disciples, and, and, and tells them to do this and receive this in remembrance of me. Um, we've seen in the Gospel of John, as he looks at those who are hungry and feeds and feeds the multitude. Um, we know the story of how he gets down on his hands and knees and he shows that a true leader leads by serving, by washing the feet of the other so that the other then may then wash the feet of the next person. Uh, and Jesus, at the very end of, of what he is saying here in this reading today, he lets slip his ultimate motive for all the things he's been teaching, for all of the reasons, for the Lord's Prayer, for communion, for the foot washing, for asking for forgiveness, for believing in, in him, in the Messiah, that, that he was sent by God, uh, for having faith that he will feed you. He's, his, his ultimate motive for all of his lessons is that he says, I am giving you all these commands so that you may love one another. That's the motive. All of these things are supposed to be things that help us to love one another. So if that's the case, it leads me to this thought. As, as we go out in a complicated world where it is sometimes not easy to know what is the right thing to do. I mean, when we turn on the news and we look at intractable intractable wars where it seems like people are claiming that they have the right and they are the aggrieved and and they're they are taking the ethical high ground and when you have debates happening in in courtrooms between sides where it seems like everybody is making the argument that they're trying to do what is the right thing and and sometimes we live in a what may seem like a morally relativistic world where it's hard to know what is right and what is wrong. We're all trying to do the best we can. How are we supposed to judge? And, and I think this is helpful for Jesus to be saying, ultimately, all of the things I'm commanding you are supposed to be things that help you to love one another. And, and if the things that we're doing aren't helping us to love one another, we're probably doing it wrong. <laughs> So that's a lens I'm going to try to hold up to the decisions I make about what's the right course of action in my life. It's always going to be hard. It's always going to be complicated. But I want to try to hold this lens up of saying, is this decision the thing that's going to help me to love those around me better? In a world where sometimes it's hard to figure out what's right. Maybe this is... Maybe this is how we can help decide, is hearing what Jesus is saying here. What is the thing that's going to help you to love one another better? And if the thing that you're doing is helping you to love those around you better, then you're on the right track. You're doing the right thing. And if the thing's even well-meaning, if it's not helping you to love your neighbor better, then it's probably time to start considering another way. So let us try to be people who hold ourselves accountable for thinking through the choices that we're making in this complicated world and asking what is helping us 
love one another better. Amen.